If you've ever played in the Origin Realms Minecraft server, there's no doubt about it, you've seen these cool ranks. They are very good looking and a lot nicer than just plain text. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to add them to your own Minecraft server. Before we start though, do be sure to leave a like, press subscribe, and without any further ado, let's dive right into this. So right off the bat, those awesome ranks you saw in Origin Realms are an add-on of a plugin called Items Adder. Now, Items Adder is not a free plugin. It is a premium plugin and it is actually quite expensive. I will leave a link in the description to Items Adder's picket page so you can purchase it for yourself if you want to do this. But do keep in mind that Items Adder is a lot more than just a plugin that allows you to add cooler ranks. It's a custom items plugin which allows you to add all sorts of stuff from blocks to items items to mobs, emotes, GOIs, emojis, wings, hats, and a lot more. Small spoiler alert, all the custom items, blocks, gestures, and cosmetics on Origin Realms are also made with items adder. Now, of course, they're all completely custom made on their server, but it seems like they do use items adder as a base, which honestly, for custom items, is probably the best base you can use. Now, after downloading items adder, you also want to download this resource. This is the better ranks resource, and this is the resource that's gonna add these cool ranks to our Minecraft server. So these are the ones included with this better ranks pack. Now, Origin realms is using custom ones that they created and you can also create your own if you're good with stuff like photoshop and illustrator but these are the ones that are pre-made and we can use right away then you also want to install lone lips lone lips is nothing more than a dependency for items adder and then last but not least protocol lip also a dependency for items adder make sure to download it too after that what you want to do is go to your minecraft server folder and then over here in the plugins folder you want to drop items adder lone lib and protocol lib so all of those three jar files you want to drag into your plugins folder and then restart your minecraft server if everything went well you should see something like this indicating that items adder is now successfully installed after that let's take a look at better ranks this one we first want to unzip so i'm gonna right click and then choose for extract all after doing that we will get a better ranks folder open the folder and inside of there you will see another folder called content now this is the folder we want to copy to our items adder folder. Now if you're running your Minecraft server on your own PC, you can simply drag this folder into your items adder folder. Though because my Minecraft server is hosted at a server hosting company and you can only upload zip files, I'm gonna zip the contents folder again. So I'm gonna right click and then choose for compress to zip file. So now we got contents.zip. So inside of your Minecraft server folder, we're now going for plugins. Then we're gonna look for the items adder folder, which should now be created and inside of there i'm gonna drag my contents.zip file so what i'm gonna do is i'm simply gonna unarchive it again basically unzipping it and there we go when we now go into the contents folder you can see there's now a new folder called better ranks and that's what we needed so now you want to restart your minecraft server once more after the server is done restarting we're gonna execute a command in the console before we can actually see the ranks inside of minecraft we need to start using a resource pack so you simply want to type I, A, which of course stands for items adder, and then zip. No spaces, nothing at all, just I, A, zip. Then press enter, and this will create the resource pack. So when we now go back to our server files, then go to plugins, then once again to items adder, you will see there's now a new folder called output. Inside of that folder, there will be a zip file called generated.zip. This is the zip file we want to start using. Now, if you're running a public Minecraft server and you want everyone to be able to see these better ranks or any other of your items adder resources, you want to turn this into a server resource pack. If you don't know how to do that, I will leave a card in the top right corner of the screen to a tutorial where I explain you exactly how to turn a regular resource pack into a server resource pack but for this video i'm just gonna apply it to my local minecraft so first of all we're gonna download it then you want to open your minecraft go to options resource packs and then over here click on open pack folder then inside of the folder it opens you want to drag that generated.zip file then back in minecraft it will probably appear red don't worry about that it will just work fine so enable it and then click on done and then when when we join Minecraft, you will see 
Nothing! So the better ranks add-on has been added to the server. But we still need to add it to our actual ranks. So of course for this video I will assume you've already set up ranks on your Minecraft server. If you have not, I will leave another card in the top right corner of the screen which will lead you directly to my Luck Perms tutorial. Make sure to set up ranks and after that come back to this video. I've already set up three ranks on this server. But now I want to replace this admin text with one of those better ranks. So I'm simply gonna type LP editor this will give you a link and you simply want to open it up and now inside of the lookworms editor you want to change your prefix so back on the better ranks pick an mc page you will see a list of placeholders now these are the placeholders we want to start using so the placeholder for admin is colin admin colin and then the placeholder for helper is colin helper colin and the placeholder for builder is colin builder colin pretty straightforward so let's use the admin one colin admin colin go back to look and over here where you need to specify your prefix you simply want to replace this whole part with the placeholder you want to use in my case colin admin colin then don't forget to put a space at the end like always and there we go the better rank is now successfully added now let's also do this for vip so i'm gonna change it to colin vip colin and there we go and then i'm gonna do default as well so i'm just gonna make a new prefix the weight should be one and then it will be colin player colin there we go so now i got the default rank the vip rank and the owner rank all with their respective better rank so now i'm simply gonna click on save copy the command that lookworms provides and then execute that command in game and there we go go you can see the changes right here so when we now talk in chat i'm currently in the owner rank which means i should have the admin prefix i'm gonna type hello and like you can see it works perfectly admin kasasora says hello now when i type lp user kasasora parent set and now i'm gonna set myself to vip and i then talk in chat you can see that i now got vip in front of my name and now we're also gonna try out the default rank which should have player in front of its name let's try hello again and like you can see it works perfectly now i did forget the space here so this is what happens when you don't put a space at the end there will be no room between my rank and my name now if you want to know how to let these better ranks appear inside of chat inside of your tab list and also as a name tag above your head i would highly recommend watching my prefix tutorial i will also leave it as a card in the top right corner of the screen so you can check it out for yourself if you're interested and then that's gonna be it. i really hope you enjoyed watching hopefully i could help you out today if i did do make sure to leave a like also press that subscribe button you would really help me out by doing that and then i will see you in the next one bye bye <laughs>